Hi, Mark. You've just announced some pretty stellar results from your first two holes at Golconda. Tell me more about that. Uh, g'day, Gareth. Yes, thank you. This is the first uh, two core holes of a 14-hole program at Golconda. And it's, uh, it's basically, in fairness, is a significantly large mineralized system. And it's part of the pool free uh, system that we have a mineral park just to the northwest of us. Uh, we're pretty excited. It's, you know, this is the culmination of two years of work, back to basics, first principles exploration, and uh, first two core holds here in, in the better part of four decades. So, you know, what we've learned from here is, uh, yeah, there's mineralized, lots of precious metals and base metals. You know, I draw people's attention to the significant silver here already, especially in hole two, and uh, some big indium uh, credits as well. So that's been quite exciting. So we're taking these data points. It's going to help us factor in the next sort of 12 RC holes, and uh, and we're halfway through that RC program uh, now. So we'd like to think we can probably see assays from the first hole back by the end of this month, and uh, we're really excited. Uh, these two first holes, were they the, the juiciest targets that you had out of the 14 or were they left and right of the uh, mineralized area? Yeah, no, so it's a big system and so we sort of had to put our you know, line in the sand and just uh, start and get cracking. So we've uh, avoided uh, a lot of the historical mining areas around and we're basically trying to prove the geological model and concept that we have in place. So the tub zone, uh, the results here are telling us this tub zone, which is a two kilometre long sort of uh, structure that runs through the property. That seems to be our best chance of vectoring in on the higher precious metal values. So no, we've sort of took a more, uh, more of a regional or greenfield style approach. Let's get our eye in and then vector in with the RC rig from here. And if all goes to plan in the next 12 holes, uh, marry up with the diamond holes, um, mm. what, what can investors look forward to? Uh, well, basically lots more drilling. So, you know, we're in the moment of proving concept of the geological model. We'll evolve the model from there. Uh, we're testing mostly the tub zone in target one, but then that will lead us to target two towards the southeast. And then uh, there's an interesting structure, a structure called the Bronco Dyke, so just to the north of us, so target three. So uh, expect lots more drilling from us. And you're on the ground now there in, uh, in Arizona? I, uh, I, I'd be in there for the last two weeks of April. Uh, the first week we spent at Kingman here with the RC drillers as we're completing the program. And then I'll be spending some time back in central Nevada, our recently acquired uh, White Caps projects as we start our service programs there. Uh, winter is uh, thawing as we head into the spring and uh, we start our surface programs, including drone geophysics and, uh, and some trenching there uh, by the end of April. Well, it sounds like your work's cut out for you. All the best, Mark. No rest for the wicked. Thank you. Cheers, Gareth.